Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about drying our dogs properly. So you may or may not have seen my last video where I went on a little rampage saying that the number one tip I can give you for improving your groom is to make sure your dog is 100% dry. And I truly believe that. You don't need another lotion or potion you need to make sure that your dog is 100% dry. Nothing more than getting your dog 100% dry will improve your groom from where you are. So how do I make sure my dog is 100% dry in a consistent manner? Well, at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, we like to call it the systematic and stylized dry. So it's kind of two different techniques that go together as one, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them. So first of all, you need a system, right? I have a system um, and it works for me and not, it works for me, it makes me have more consistency in how I dry my dogs. And I can't let somebody else dry my dogs if they don't do it in the same manner because they don't turn out the same, they don't brush out the same, they don't spray out the same, none of the same things happen. So I'm just gonna give you like kind of the brief little synopsis of what I mean by a system, right? So I always wash my dogs, I condition them or not, and I rinse them out, and I squeeze out with my hands as much water out of that dog as I can in the tub. Then I take a towel and I squeeze out as much water with that towel, and I'm squeezing. I'm not rubbing, I'm not going in circles, I'm squeezing all the water from head to toe, from head to tail, getting as much water out. I do not want my dogs have to have water dripping off them when I lift them out of that tub. I also really like to dry their faces really quite well with a tub, with a towel. I will kind of get in there and rub it and make them feel real good. And then I like to put my dog in a clean, dry area to shake for 10 minutes-ish, right? So that can be a crate with a couple towels in it. I have a backyard that happens to be Belgian stone, so it can be there when it's not raining out. It can be a laundry room, my grooming room, wherever it might be, but I like them to shake for a couple of reasons. First of all, it gives that dog a break, right? We've just, be, you know, uh, oftentimes we've done pre things before the bath. We've maybe done their nails or their ears or their teeth or all of the above, or maybe did a little bit of detangling or something. Um, but we spent some time together, so it gives them a break from me, but also shaking has been scientifically proven to remove more water from our dog's coats than other things that we can do without some kind of tool. Also, it gives me a break, right? It gives me a chance to get a beverage, uh, use the washroom, and get my drying area prepared. My drying area always has two clean, dry towels on the table because whether my dog is laying down or standing up, um, I want that water to be absorbed into those towels. I don't want the water just pooling around their feet. If they're standing, I don't want my dog laying in a puddle of water. Also, if my dog's laying down, you know, grooming tables are fantastic, but I don't like the thought of them laying on a bare table. I like a little bit of padding there. So the towels are doing two jobs. They're padding the dog from the table and absorbing that water. Those things are super important to me. And then I basically have a system of how I'm gonna dry them. You know, some breeds I start, at, you know, behind the shoulders, poodles I tend to start on their belly, but I have a system from A to B of what I do for each dog, where I start, where I finish, about how dry they are with my velocity dryer before I move on to my hot dryer. And that is really important to me. So that's the system part. The system helps me do it efficiently. It helps me project, okay, I have a standard pool in full show coat. It's gonna take me this many minutes to get it dry. I have an English cocker, nine month old puppy. It's gonna take me this many minutes to get it dry. My system helps me predict that, right? Now the stylized part of that is typically, I'll start some of the styling process with my velocity dryer, but the stylized part is I have a picture in my head of what I want that dog to look like, where I need to strip hair, scissor hair, whatever it might be. Where does it need more volume? Does it have, is it lacking coat or have a dip in its top line? So therefore I'm gonna be back drawing that. Does it have a very fluffy, profuse coat in areas that I need it to lay flat? So therefore I'm gonna be thinking about how I style that area or does it need big, huge front legs and it needs a bit more hair. So I'm gonna be putting some product and really drying that part up, right? So the systematic part is how I do every breed every time. The styling part is what that dog, that particular dog needs to make it 
look or when I'm done drawing, come as close as possible to the ideal outline that I can start working on and kind of creating that magic. But make no mistake, the magic cannot happen. Your trim, no matter what, cannot happen without that dog dried 100%. If, you know, especially when you start, you're not gonna be as good at it. You might think your dog is 100% dry, you're really proud of yourself, and like two thirds of the way through your groom, you find a wet part. Don't worry about it, dry it. Dry it right then and there, make sure it's thoroughly dried, and then next time pay a little bit more attention to the inside of that leg or behind that ear or wherever you found that damp part, right? We all, it's a learning process for all of us, but trust me, the system is what will give you more time for the styling part. So the next time you go to start grooming your dog, remember the blow dry, probably the most important part. I hope that helps. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications, that way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.